Welcome back to an introduction to basic concepts of maintenance and reliability. In this lecture, we are going to introduce you to another method used for discovering potential reliability issues in your equipment. It is the famous failure modes and effects analysis. I cannot emphasize enough the importance of this method in the field of maintenance and reliability. I can safely say that if you forget every other method of identifying and discovering reliability related issues, do not forget this one. It is one of the most important and central topics in reliability industry. The analysis starts from understanding failure. In the context of this analysis, failure is not just any failure, but what is termed as functional failure. In order to understand what is a functional failure, we have to understand what is a function. What is a function of a machine or a piece of equipment? In the context of failure modes and effect analysis, the function of a machine is not just a one-liner statement like a pump's function is to pump water. No, it is not like that. In FMEA, the function of a machine has to be described in detail by describing exactly what the machine needs to do. Moreover, you also have to specify the performance standards. For example, a pump's function will be to pump water from the underground tank to the overhead tank with a flow rate of at least 100 gallons per minute. Now this is a functional statement in the context of FMEA. It clearly describes what the pump needs to do and also lays down the performance standard expected from it. The first step in the failure modes and effects analysis is to list down all the functions of a machine or a piece of equipment. A simple machine like a pump may only have a single functional statement. However, for complex equipment, there can be multiple functions of that equipment due to which it will have multiple functional statements, each functional statement describing a different aspect of its function. Now the failure in a failure modes and effects analysis is not just that the pump broke down and it stopped working. It is the functional failure that occurs when the pump is unable to fulfill the function defined in its functional statement. Therefore, the next step in failure modes and effects analysis is to list down all the possible failures against each of the functions of the equipment. So if the pump breaks down and it stops working, it is one of the obvious functional failures. However, it is not the only one. Even if the pump keeps running, but its flow rate drops below 100 gallons per minute, for any reason, a functional failure will be said to have taken place. In this way, you will list down all the possible ways a machine can fail to fulfill a function. The next step in the process is to list down the failure modes of each functional failure. The failure mode is any event that causes a functional failure. For example, the pump could shut off unexpectedly because of the tripping of its main circuit breaker. It could also shut off due to burnout of its electric motor. Both of these events are failure modes. There can be a multitude of other failure modes for this particular functional failure. However, we are just keeping it simple. Coming towards the second functional failure in our example, the flow rate of the pump could drop below 100 gallons per minute because 
of a leakage in the pump's delivery line. Or maybe a worn out impeller. Both of these events are failure modes of our second functional failure. In the same way, you would list down all the possible failure modes of each of the functional failures that you've defined in your earlier steps of the process. The final step in the failure modes and effects analysis is to elaborate the effects. By effects, we are referring to the effects of each of the failure modes that we listed. We'll explain effects with example, but briefly, effects describe the effects on production, operations, safety, and environment. They include physical damages, if there are any. They include the evidence of the failure mode, such as sounding of alarms. And they also include the action needed for rectifying the failure mode. So in the last step of our process, we describe the effects of each of the failure modes that we had described earlier. For example, if we take our first failure mode, that is tripping of the main circuit breaker, its effect could be that an alarm sounds in control room and overhead tank may become empty in one hour, that is if the pump is not recovered. Maintenance technician will inspect the pump and reset the circuit breaker, which will take 15 to 20 minutes. This is how the failure effect is described, kind of like in a storytelling way, but in a concise manner and with all important details. In similar manner, we fill out the descriptions of all the failure effects of each of the failure modes. It will mark the completion of our failure modes and effects analysis. Once performed on an equipment, the failure modes and effects analysis will give you an exhaustive list of all the possible ways your equipment could fail. It allows you to prepare for all possible failures. Let us conclude our discussion here. See you in the next lecture.